A Ukrainian woman says her parents don't understand why she's against Russia's invasion of her country, even though she had to escape Ukraine after enduring heavy Russian bombardment. That tragic story of a family divided is just one of many coming out of Ukraine today. Matt Ingram has the latest on the war. I just think that we just uh, missed one century with them. They still live in 20th century and I live in 21st century. Fresh from her escape from the Russian bombardment of Kyiv, Ukrainian Katerina Yakovlenko says her parents have a much different view of what's happening to their country. Uh, my parents uh, has a Russian perspective. They watch in Russian news. Unfortunately, they have no access to Ukrainian news. So sometimes it's quite difficult to explain them what is really going on. They blame Ukraine and the U.S. for the war and do not see it as a Russian invasion, something that is very difficult for Yakovlenko and her sister, who have both become victims of Vladimir Putin's war. To me, it's really clear things, uh, but unfortunately, parents do not see in this or do not admit in this. Do they understand when you say, you know, I had to leave because Russia's attacking us, they're not liberating us? Like, what do yeah. they say to you when you say that? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> In the beginning, they told me that I should not leave. But Yakovenko did leave about 10 days ago, along with a friend and her friend's elderly parents, escaping the northwest Kyiv suburb of Erpen after enduring more than a week of Russian bombs. She was crying and said that we should leave. We really escaped under the shelling. Days after our interview, she shared these pictures of her apartment in Erpen, destroyed after she left. Russian forces have decimated the city and surrounding residential areas, killing civilians as Russian soldiers try to take the Ukrainian capital. British intelligence says Russia has made little progress advancing on Kyiv, with fierce Ukrainian resistance keeping Russians outside the city. The UK's latest assessment concludes Russia has five Ukrainian cities encircled, but not Kyiv. That city is imposing a 36-hour curfew due to the shelling threat. Overnight, eight people were killed after Russia shelled a shopping district in the capital. The explosions caught on surveillance video. A Ukrainian government video shows firefighters rescuing a man from the rubble. The aftermath shows the extensive damage, but Kyiv has been saved from the intense bombardments seen in other cities. Saying he hopes no one will ever see what he has seen, this Greek diplomat just escaped Mariupol, a city of immense human suffering without power or water, thanks to near constant Russian bombing since the early days of the war. A humanitarian convoy is stuck outside due to the fighting. The situation uh, in Mariupol uh, is very difficult. We have, uh, we have no access in Mariupol. Russia demanded it be surrendered yesterday, the same day Ukraine says Russia flattened an art school there with 400 people inside. Early this morning, Ukraine refused to surrender as soldiers fight block by block for control of the city. That spirit of resistance on display in occupied cities like Energodar and in Kherson, where Ukrainians stared down a Russian military vehicle before Russian soldiers fired their guns to try and disperse protesters. Russia also attacked a Ukrainian military training facility in the west of the country today with cruise missiles not far from the Polish border and Poland, of course, a NATO country. NATO leaders, including Prime Minister Trudeau, will meet later this week in Brussels for a special summit to discuss the invasion.